Now, BP's chief executive, Tony Hayward, has told Sky News he believes the environmental impact of the Gulf of Mexico oil leak will be very, very modest. From Washington, our U.S. correspondent, Greg Milam, reports. Mr. Ingalls came marching in with that this morning. <laughs> there haven't been many good days for the chief executive of BP in recent weeks, but this is one. The story from the seabed is that they are now capturing some of the leaking oil. Finally, a step forward. Over the last 36 hours, we've made a lot of progress on containment on the seabed. We have a piece of technology engineering that we developed, which is now allowing us to produce oil from the leak to the surface. He now says what many feared could turn into an environmental catastrophe will be far less serious. I think the environmental impact of this disaster is likely to have been very, very modest. It's impossible to say and we will mount as part of the aftermath a very detailed environmental assessment as we go forward. We're going to do that with some of the science institutions in the, uh, in the US. But all, everything we can see at the moment suggests that the overall environmental impact of this will be very, very modest. It's confidence that might not be shared along the Gulf Coast with oil still leaking and the spill shifting. No one knows how much there is. President Obama has ordered another investigation and is keeping the pressure on BP. Not unfairly, says the chief executive. I think there is understandable frustration about you know, the situation and there's a desire to get it under control. And I, I think it's you know, somewhat natural that the administration here wishes to demonstrate that they're on top of it. This is what BP calls its crisis centre here in Houston in Texas. For the last 25 days, a team of 500 to 600 people have been working around the clock in these rooms, all around the company's HQ here, coordinating the response and planning every next step. The company says it will pay for the cleanup and compensation at a cost of billions. A mile below the surface, the best case scenario, BP says, is sealing the leak within seven days. The alternative is months more of a spill no one can measure and an impact that can still only be guessed at. Greg Milam, Sky News, Houston, Texas. Well, after that interview, the company released a statement saying BP is mounting the biggest ever response to the Gulf of Mexico spill, aggressively targeting the oil at sea, staging a massive coastline protection effort with many local, state and federal agencies, thousands of volunteers, hundreds of local fishing vessels on hire, millions of feet of oil booms installed across four states.